Today is 14 July 2018 Saturday. Now is three days after the surgery. Okay. This hamster, how old is it? One year old female. One well, old female. The complaint was a big swelling near the vulva area. It's about uh, five millimeter times five millimeter swollen, inflamed. So since it has the anatomical structure of the vulva, so I would expect it to be a tumor from inside the, the labia folds of the vulva. And uh, this is confirmed during anesthesia. The tumor was taken out three days ago, right? Yeah. And uh, there was a lot of bleeding. Hamster has been inpatient for three days and you can see today He's eaten, she's eaten all her food and uh, the stools are there so overall she's fully recovered from the surgery okay now we're going to weigh her we'll weigh her first today before going home how many? 39 30, 39 38, okay, 38 grams i put it here uh, what was the weight when she came in? 38 grams. So it's about, yeah. Okay, come now. We turn, turn upside down. Just on the paper there and put on the. Uh, you see this, the bleeding is much less. I'll put there so that I can focus. Huh? Now you see the wound is there, but didn't affect the inner area. Inner just behind the wound. Huh? And uh, the hamster can pee and poo. The bruises are much less now. And uh, so. Is considered an excellent outcome, and uh, let me focus again. And the hamster should go home today, and be uh, living a normal life without removal of the tumor. The hamster keeps licking it, and uh, it get infected. You, know. you can see the, the the surgery. The wound is quite big, about five millimeter times five millimeter. So the external labia lips have been cut off together with the tumor, which, which is shown in, in another video. Okay, put it back here. So it goes home today. Do we have the tumor? I'll just show the tumor. It's in formalin. It's in formalin. And uh, overall, this is a very rare case of a vulva tumor. And, uh, And uh, I have not seen it from hundreds of tumor remover in Tuampayo vets. This is the first time I've seen the some lights. Huh? You can see the tumor is really a firm one. Now the owner doesn't want histology, so that we don't know whether it's cancerous or not. Okay, so the, that's the end of the case study.